It's time now to head down to Miami, more specifically, Homestead Speedway, where we recently attended a Honda Canada press launch designed to introduce Canadian motorcycle enthusiasts to this, the CBR125RR. Pretty cool, eh? Now, what we've got here is a four-stroke fuel-injected 125 with a catalytic exhaust. So it's fuel efficient and very clean. It's got six gears and real suspension, so we know it's fun. But what this bike is really all about is it's light, low, and user-friendly, and extremely affordable. That should put a smile on your face. Just ask two of this country's most respected motorcycle journalists, the host, Dave Booth, and the stars, Steve Bond. This is a motorcycle for people who have no motorcycling experience and for whom they have no motorcycling friends that they can call and rely on. Honda is providing a almost a, um, a no questions, no worries uh, purchase. That's what's most important about this bike. So David, when I was 16 years old, if you had told me that this could be my first motorcycle, I think I would have been stoked. It's, it certainly looks like a real bike, doesn't it? Yeah. I mean, it, uh, it does look like a baby Honda Sport bike. It isn't quite a baby Honda Sport bike, but you know, I, I mean, uh, we're being told that fashion counts as much as performance these days, and so this one certainly has the fashion. Yeah, it definitely looks the part. It looks like a bigger motorcycle. Uh, so let's start with that motor, 125 cc's of four-stroke power. Four-stroke power, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, it'll do about 120 kilometers an hour, and uh, if you're lying down and crawling under the paint down a mine shaft with a tailwind and like that. But yeah. um, the most important thing about uh, this bike is it feels like a real bike when you're sitting on top of it. Uh, the controls are the same. It, uh, what you're looking at in terms of the instruments is the same. Uh, the mirrors are the same. I mean, the biggest difference besides the power is the fact that it's so light. If you sneeze, it changes directions. Right, right. So as far as the power band itself and the motor, Honda said it was counterbalanced so it would be smoother. Is it smooth? Uh, when you get it up right near its red line, it is still a single cylinder engine and it starts vibrating. But in most conditions, it's, uh, it's working just fine. I mean, and it's fuel injected, so it's very smooth, very controllable. It's not like uh, uh, an old carburetor bike that would pop and fart and stuff like that. Yeah. It really is quite a sophisticated beast for its price range. Uh, for a new rider, I think it'd be a good general all-purpose motorcycle. Yeah. Uh, great for city use. It's got more than enough power to keep up with traffic. Uh, on the straightaway here at the uh, the racetrack, I noted uh, 100 kilometers an hour with 7,500 RPM. So that's that's reasonable. You could take the odd trip on the 401. Right. I don't think it'd be a great long-distance bike for that effect. But right. uh, two-lane roads up to the cottage. Basically, anybody anything anybody wants to do with it uh, as a beginning motorcyclist, it would do. It handles like a real motorcycle. It shifts gears like a motorcycle. How is the clutch and the, and the shifting? Well, it's very easy. I mean, as you can imagine, I mean, the, the, there's not a lot of power to handle, so the clutch doesn't need big springs. The brakes are easy. The, the, uh, it's fuel injected with one cylinder uh, uh, operating, so the throttle cable doesn't need a big spring. It's, it really is easy to drive. Now, do, could you see somebody who has some experience riding, and don't, they, but they don't plan on doing a lot of riding, and they want to do a little commute to work or something? Could you see them using it as well? Absolutely. Uh, throw a top box on the back of it or a soft luggage uh, carrier for a tail bag. You can throw your briefcase in there, commute to the office. It'd be great for that. What about the fit and the finish? It's fully equipped. I mean, the only thing you could, it doesn't have would be ABS brakes. It would be almost impossible to put on a bike for this price. Yeah. Were you impressed with the cockpit layout? Did everything... Oh, yeah, it's like it? a big bike. I mean, really, the most impressive thing about this is if you were just poodling down the street, not gassing it up or not corner, uh, uh, carving corners, you wouldn't think you're on this small a bike right. because the layout... The, where everything is, the look of it, the feel of it, is, is of a, a more expensive bike. I won't say larger, more expensive. And what about uh, the value of the bike? You know, Honda's talking about bringing it in sort of plus or minus $3,000. Do you think it's a lot of bike for the money or a good price for the bike? Biggest bargain going right now. It's got to be. You can't get anything for $3,500 these days, right. even a beater car. Now, granted, we're the experienced guys are probably riding them harder around this racetrack than 90% uh, of the owners would ever do, but they handle great, there's like good brakes, and uh, I think for around town, they would be the cat's ass, really. Can you say cat's ass on television? I think, I think he just did. <laughs>